Hi guys, alright? I hope you're alright. I'm alright. We've had a good week again. I can't believe how quickly the time's going. It's going Friday. It is hot, hot, hot. Very hot here in Perth. Um, it came really quickly, really. The weather, um, you know, last weekend we were wearing jump, well, long sleeve tops and jeans. Today it's it's uh, vest tops and shorts and uh, down the beach, which we have been this week to a beautiful beach. Um, and I'm not joking for you in you using the UK. <laughs> it was like Summer Bay. There we went to a beach where there's um, a surf life and life saving club there. And it was so busy. So when you see it on Summer Bay, people walking around in the cafe and that was really happening in real life. So I just thought that was so funny because Summer Bay is such a, probably such, home and away that is, is such a stereotypical um, thing of Australia. But it was happening at one of these, be we went to Quinn's Beach um, Google it. It was quite funny, but you can swim between the flags, and there's always help on that beach. You know, it's not an isolated beach, and there's a nice rail for me to hold onto from the car park right down onto the beach. So that's why we go there. Good for family, good for children, and that's why we went. Anyway, again, I digress, but I wanted to say with regards to the weather change and how much it knocks you out um, when you have MS. Um, the Obviously it's hot, hot, hot and um, when there's extreme weather conditions and I, I believe this happens in Scotland, in Sweden, in, in Ireland when the weather's cold and it's gloomy but it's the same for extreme weather on this side that when it's so hot all you want to do is sit in the cold, in the cool um, and put your ice pack on, you know, your chest, and uh, it, it's it's not unbearable because you can control it. Um, we do have aircon. There's an aircon in the car, so I just try and keep in the shade as much as possible um, when we're going through this. And and I mean today it's a nice thirty um, degrees. It, it's obviously it's nice for me because I'm sitting in my bedroom. Um, but not nice for people that would be working in it. I um, always try and find the good. Um, you know, I might have this, but how nice that I can relax and, and lay down because of the fatigue. And that's another thing I wanted to talk to you about today. So, um, yeah, it's lovely. It's beautiful. And we're very lucky to be close to the beach and um, to have the big blue sky, which is... It's still, when I look up, I just think we're so lucky. But anyway, um, that's the gratitude, I think, is always in place because I think I'm, I'm, we're very lucky to be here. So there you go. Um, the fatigue, um, as I put the me a message, a video on last weekend, that, you know, my walking was bad and I was having a bit of a whinge and, you know, I felt... I just felt that I couldn't do anything, I couldn't move off the sofa and I definitely think it is down to um, what you can do um, when, how, how can I describe the fatigue, it's overwhelming, it comes over and takes you and you just want to lie down. However, I noticed if I keep going and pushing through, um, I've been to the gym today, it's Friday, sorry I didn't explain that, um, I was really crap in the gym, you know, I only did something like, I think it was over five minutes, maybe six, seven minutes on, on just walking um, and I wasn't very good at doing my yoga moves or, you know, I found it very, very... Um, yeah, the fatigue was overwhelming because I knew I was just too hot and it was cool in there. Um, but I made it home and uh, as soon as I got changed, took my trainers off, I was starting to cool down straight away. 
and now I'm here relaxing. So what I want to say to you, because I'd dealt with that situation, I'd got out the, the heat and come and cooled down and taken off my trainers, Having make, making these little changes helps with my MS. So be it coming in from, from the warm or um, getting an ice block and putting it on my chest and my forehead or having that sleep or, or the big one today was I was hungry um, and not hangry. I know you could get angry with it but I'm quite chilled but I just had to eat and that seemed to cooling down. I had, eat, I had something to eat. I sat down. I think that just nipped all everything I was feeling totally nipped it away it would just went away so um I think I you know not consciously I'm just doing the putting these things in place that help me just to get regulate you know my heat and my um yeah my heat balance and regulate you know sitting even sitting down helps me so um, I definitely got all those things in place, had something to eat, had a long drink, put my music on, started to chill and put balance on my bracelet, which is another video previously. Um, so yeah, I just did put all those things in place. I emptied the dishwasher and got a little bit organised in the kitchen and then I thought, well, yeah, this is alright, I'm alright here. Um, sitting watching YouTube, catching up on YouTube and um, yeah I'm relaxing when it's all really hot out there but yeah putting those things in place has helped with the fatigue today and I just wanted to share that with you um, which is really nice so uh, for me you know I can manage that by yeah just the little things all add up and make the situation best you know my walking's not very good it's still not very good but you know we've got a busy weekend we're actually going to see take that tomorrow i'm going with my friend suzanne i've got drinks with a couple of girls tonight um at our local pub um marie and michelle um i don't know if anyone else is going to come down so there's some nice things to look forward to life's good here um, I mean, things have happened, you know, the computer broke this week, my oven's still broken, um, <laughs> but, you know, we get through these things, there was, uh, yeah, the, the car is playing up, but, how, you know, how lucky are we still, um, I'm still able to drive, and that's one thing, um, having my independence with that, in and out of the car, um, I'd be very, very upset when, when, and um, if that, ha that goes, so, Let's keep positive. I love the car. A shame it's a little bit sick, but hopefully we can get some pennies together and get the man to come out and fix it. So, anyway, that's what I wanted to quickly talk to you about, the fatigue and how you can overcome it. Um, hopefully, well, you know what what I've talked about is how I, I get rid of that fatigue. So just putting little things in place. Get your ice block get fed, get watered, get to the toilet, um, all the little things, take your trainers off, go barefoot, that really helped me. So I hope that helps you, anyone that's watching. Thanks for your new subscribers, everybody that's watching. Thank you so much. Over the, all the videos, we've reached nearly, um, just to let you know the stats, because you know I like the stats, um, we've um, reached nearly 800 views across the videos. So... Thank you for watching. I don't know if you can hear the lorry. We've got trucks and lorries going. I think you've seen outside um, all the building work. But um, hopefully that wasn't too noisy in the video. So um, the last thing I'm going to end on is to say I talked about iHerb.com in previous videos, in a previous video and showed you that I'm taking the CoQ10 and the uh, what's it called, Le leopoic acid, I'm taking that and um, someone in at iherb.com has put a link in so if you um, use the link and use the code you can get some discount, I think it's 10% discount so how nice that they found us and um, yeah if you're thinking of um, going for CoQ10 because it's cheap chips, gives you lots of energy um, 
yeah use the code use the code I'm well pleased that they've done that for us so I'll leave it there because I've bottled, bottled it on um, again as always um, lovely to uh, hope you're enjoying these videos and thanks every to everyone that is and um, we'll see you soon um, very soon again so take care be good and if you can't be good be careful and uh, yeah see you soon take care bye